He just goes that these guys have no scruples or qualms about going on and saying whatever the fuck they want. And if this little retard, uh, no jumper, had watched those videos with the objective proof and facts that I provided about these two guys, he'd know they were a huge scammer. And he probably did watch some of it, and he probably did see the points. And he thought, hmm, these guys are coming up on 300K subs. They have a fucking brain-dead, trashy audience that likes reality TV and drama. I can expand my subscriber base by doing a collaboration with them. I don't give a fuck that they they are just full-blown scammers and huge cornballs that have no real expertise whatsoever. Let's bring them on the show. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today, I want to respond to No Jumper, who's this fucking retard with the fucking face tats in the corner here. Uh, his little sidekick here, who also says facts, facts, and other bullshit lingo like Myron and Walter. And, of course, our favorite scammers, Fresh and Fit, okay? Basically, this guy's trying to throw shit on me, doubting the, the, the lay count claim up here in the corner. Someone alerted me in this video. I don't even know who the fuck No Jumper was. Uh, <laughs> and obviously, it, he says, oh, I went to do research on you guys, and I, and I found this guy talking shit, okay? First of all, anyone who associates with Fresh and Fit or brings them on their channel, okay, is just clout chasing or, or totally oblivious to the fact that these guys have zero qualifications for what they're proclaiming to do. I've thoroughly destroyed these guys in multiple videos showing that they have shit skills with women. Myron was saying that he's been banging girls between a four and an eight, which is fucking disgusting, but on camera, oh, only nines and tens. Okay, he came to me for help personally not that long ago saying he was an intermediate and his circle has no fucking clue what they're doing. Okay, Walter Weeks here, and we'll, we'll put the video links to what I'm talking about in the description so you can look at those. Walter Weeks uh, was found to be working at Wix.com, okay, about six months ago in December of 2020, and was married to an overweight Latina chick, okay? He poses next to fake, th to things that aren't his, next to jets and cars that are not his, uh, Myron's been shown that he's been paying girls to, to fuck and to come on the show. Okay, that was already exposed as well. So these guys are just two big fucking fakers that created a nice little like drama reality TV thing. They haven't clapped back or, or responded to any of my shit because it's all based on facts. Okay, <laughs> facts, facts, bro. And they, and they talk with annoying fucking slang. They both deserve to be fucking punched in the throat. All right, but let's continue here. No jumper deserves that too. This fucking face test. Especially in Miami, so, bro. Guys, now, bro, it's tough. Like let's let's listen to a stumbling, muttering Walter Weeks. Okay, this guy has zero fucking skills of women. They, people have said that hung out with these guys that that uh, Myron sucks with girls, but Walter sucks like ten times more. Yeah, Walter's trying to run around claiming thousand plus lay count. Even though it was shown he's he's he was married to a fat Latina, and <laughs> he's even like paying for press releases. Okay, we we dug deeper and found paid press releases. It's just a fucking pure on shit show with these guys, absolute fake scammers. But no jumper doesn't care. He'd rather just bring them on for clout and to have their audience subscribe. Okay, like a lot of others. So let's let's take a listen here with how they start uh, trying to bash on me. Again, not calling me by name. Fucking. So sad. I know you guys might not know this, but a lot of guys, bro, they talk to us every single day. It's like, bro, they are struggling. They're still virgins at 35 years old. Still mm -hmm. virgins. And it's yeah. like, they're visible to girls because they don't offer the value that these sugar daddies offer. So it's we, crazy, bro. What, what we teach on our joint is like, we, we tell guys you got to have game. You yeah. got to get your money on point. You got to. What we teach on our joint, yo, is uh, you got to get your money on point. Get in shape. You got to learn. You got to get confidence. You got to get everything and be a full package. And what I always tell guys is you become better not to get the girl but so that you don't tolerate the bullshit that inevitably comes with dealing with Yeah, so you, so you can do fake pseudo-alpha kickouts on your, on your own show. I ain't tolerating no shit. Hey, hey, get out of here. Facts, bro. It, it's so sad. It's like, it's like literally repulsive to watch their fucking podcast. It's two guys pretending as hard as they can to be alpha, pretending as hard as they can to be fake gurus. They're to be real gurus, but, but will never succeed because they're absolute fake gurus. And then running around <laughs> getting recognition for this from other men as if they have any kind of real expertise with women whatsoever it's absolutely hilarious with the girls right. because when you have that abundance mindset from your own accomplishments you're going to get that confidence and then you ain't going to deal with her incompetence you're going to leave you know what i'm saying so right. 
That's no, what I know exactly uh, what, you, what you're talking about because uh, back in like 2008 or whatever, I dated this girl for about a year and a half and we lived together and then we had this big dramatic breakup mm. and my confidence was kind of fucked up. You know, I hadn't been on the, the scene for a while. All of a sudden, all these girls got fucking Facebook. They don't have MySpace anymore. <laughs> it's starting to, I'm, I'm like, fuck, like the world has changed. I was only locked up for like a year and a half and now shit has changed. Locked up? Well, you know, <laughs> under, under her lock and key, I guess. But, uh, yeah. but then... Somebody told me about the game, the book, yeah. and I fucking ordered Nail it off Charles, Amazon yeah. and started reading it, and mm. it, it was exactly what I needed at that point because it really got me started to, you know, kind of think strategically of like, okay, you want to, you know, meet girls, you want to get better at meeting girls and talking to girls, this is going to actually give you a framework, but I always felt like at that time, there was so many fucking weirdos in the pickup artist uh, community yeah, 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 that... It, the the whole scene of that kind of shit seemed like it got like a really bad like rap. I agree with that point there. Yeah, there are a lot of fucking weirdos in the scene, a lot of fucking weirdos in the community. I expected guys that knew about game to be like this secret network of elite fucking guys that were crushing it, and it turned out to be the contrary. And a lot of that's you know not the fault of the community, but more of the fault of the fake gurus and the scammers that fucking push nonsense content. You know, like if we wiped away all the good knowledge in poker, all the good knowledge in chess, and we replaced it with a bunch of feel-good woo-woo nonsense, then when people went to seek help to get better strategically with poker and chess, they would end up fucking sucking ass, and sucking total shit, and being weird. Okay, doing a lot of the RST nonsense. Go, go lay on the sidewalk as a fearless challenge. Okay, go walk up and say, whore, dog, right, and get punched in the face when you go to open. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Just, just do all kinds of nonsense. Hand of God, and all, right. So you have people in mass doing crazy nonsense so that they can stay on the hamster wheel to keep buying products, okay? Or, or keep attending these fucking retards podcasts as fake gurus. And everyone's perpetually weird, and and it, you know, the problem is largely unsolved. So, but let's go in now. They try to lump me into this just because of the the high outrageous lay count claim very early on because the dudes who were embracing it were like some of the creepiest weirdest fucking dudes yes. i've ever yeah. seen in my life yes which i still think is probably a big problem because through researching you guys i started to like find other people who are kind of making videos about the pickup stuff yeah some of them honestly look like they should be eating at the soup kitchen <laughs> like they fucking some of these dudes yeah. the fact some of these dudes look they should be eating at the soup kitchen Okay, whatever the fuck that means. This is what's so funny with the with the baseless insults. Like like Richard Cooper came on the scene. Oh, if your favorite PUA icon is claiming fifteen hundred Lacon, it was only like thirteen hundred that time. Okay, and by for the record, no jumper, whoever fucking other loser wants to doubt the claim, Richard Cooper. I've already went through this extensively. I'll put up the thumbnail. I have over an hour long video where I go through all the proof, all the massive infield, all the most advanced guys and respected guys in the community vouching for me. Endless receipts, okay, been reporting since I hit 100 in June 2012 on the forums all the way through the current day, okay, and, and you can see that throughout the forum posts and back in the day and on, the, on my channel ever since. I've been reporting it steadily. Anyone that knows me knows that I take the count very, very, very seriously. I take the results very seriously as anyone should that's trying to get better and track their results, okay, so I have endless, endless, endless proof for that. It's not just a wild random number thrown out okay but then richard cooper will come on oh that uh that's much different than the the six girls i've been with or, or whatever the fuck his shit count is okay and so he's gonna say oh he's a fat can of smashed asshole okay which he stole from some movie or something like that somebody said ha 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 and then his little fucking loser red pill cohorts oh what did he call him a fat can of smashed assholes and uh where's he recording in a, in a little room in a basement and then i show no two-story penthouse by the water i have three hot roommates and for the record, there was six girls here this fucking weekend. There was multiple Brazilians and a Colombian. And it was like a massive fucking orgy. Okay, these guys sit around and circle jerk each other and try to throw shade on, on a real fucking master in the game. Okay, and what's funny is like, what, what does that even mean? He looks like he should be eating in a soup kitchen. Okay, I assume that's directed at me. I guess poor again because of the small room I'm recording in. <laughs> it's a fucking joke. Okay, I have plenty of money. I'm living like a fucking king over here in Brazil. I have the fucking life of, of people's wildest dreams. Okay, but listen, he, he's going to casually make fun of the number that I claim. They're going around saying that they fucked 1,400 girls. I'm like, bro, this is the most ridiculous thing I ever... Okay, 
that's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Okay, good thing I have extreme proof for all of it. Okay, and, and you're probably at a huge disadvantage because you have retarded fucking face tats. Okay, and then you and then we got Walter. That's a lie. Okay, the biggest fucking liar in the scene. Okay, probably only rivaled by uh, fucking you know Owen Cook and fucking Derek Moneyberg. The biggest fucking liar on the scene, Walter Weeks. This dude is an absolute disgrace. Okay, to to, to recap. This dude is taking pictures next to cars and planes that are not his. He's paying for press releases. He was working for a website builder six months ago. Okay, I've been teaching this game for over a decade. Six months ago. And he also even went to the length to try to be cool like and, and match a real count like me. He tried to be cool and claim that he banged a thousand girls in a year. Okay, or 1250 in a year or something like that. Um, some huge number in a year. Okay, I'll, I'll put up the screenshot for that. Which is absolutely retarded. I, I highly, highly doubt he's even hit triple digits yet, let alone even double digits. He's just a stumbling, fucking mumbling retard, okay, with, with a little fucking retard cohort going on another retard show who has a retard sidekick. And they're all sitting around, that's ridiculous. That's a and Walter Weeks is going to accuse my fucking Lacon of being a lie, okay, when, when this dude is just full fabricating everything. Walter Weeks has full fabricated his expertise, his background, all this shit. He's been caught in countless lies, and I've exposed that stuff in videos, and we'll put the thumbs up for that. And fucking, <laughs> and Myron's paying girls to fuck and to come on the show. Okay, it's about as, this is about as, as fucked as the internet gets here. You have a bunch of guys that don't get laid very much. Okay, they can't stand that some other guy is getting laid a lot, just like Richard Cooper's reaction. So let's try to use ad hominem attacks. Okay, let's say, oh, well, he must eat at a soup kitchen. Oh, he must be a, a fat can of smashed assholes. That, uh, that lives in a basement, okay? The facts are, if we're talking about real objective facts, my late count metric is exact. It's up to 1,377 girls at the time of this recording. It's exactly on the money. I know it exact. It's not even off by one, okay? And, <laughs> and I've taken it very, very seriously the whole way throughout. Anyone that knows me knows that I take it extremely seriously. I can pull a nine on, uh, in front of friends and go home and no one sees what happened. And the next day, if I didn't close, I don't tell them that I closed as a lie. Okay, even if I got a blowjob, I only count full closes. I don't count non-sex hookups. So if I pulled a nine and got a blowjob and my friends like say, hey, how was she? Oh, we didn't close. And that's how it is because I'm not a fucking corny motherfucker like these guys are that just get on camera and say, hey, we're the ultimate masters. Okay, when you look behind the scenes, okay, we'll pop up the email from Myron. He's, he hadn't even hit 200 in the in the recent past and you know some of you think well 200 is a lot not really i just put up a testimonial how how a 300 lay count guy joined my program as a student as a student okay and you know then, you, then you've got fucking ag hayden who just hit a hundred lay count that's trying to challenge me and you've got fucking uh coach kyle who's at 120 is that i hit that shit over a decade ago Okay, and I'm sure Walter's not even anywhere close to that, but he's going to jump on camera and say, oh, I did a thousand a year, 12, 15 a year. Okay, soon it'll be 5,000 a year. He just goes, out. these guys have no scruples or qualms about going on and saying whatever the fuck they want. And if this little retard, uh, no jumper, had watched those videos with the objective proof and facts that I provided about these two guys, he'd know they were a huge scammer. And he probably did watch some of it, and he probably did see the points. And he thought, hmm, these guys are coming up on 300K subs, they have a fucking brain dead, trashy audience that likes reality TV and drama. I can expand my subscriber base by doing a collaboration with them. I don't give a fuck that they they are just full blown scammers and huge cornballs that have no real expertise whatsoever. Let's bring them on the show. Yeah. Seen in my life. Yeah, nah, it's, Adam, it's, it's um, the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I'm gonna email this fucking loser personally with my my proof for banging over a thousand girls. Okay, and then we'll see if it's the most ridiculous thing he's ever seen. I have more proof than anyone in the industry by far. Okay, more proof than everyone combined. I'm the, starting to realize that I'm actually fascinated by them. <laughs> I, I'm, I guess I'm a nerd for knowing this. It's Peacock King, you know, Mystery used to talk about that. Like, you mm -hmm. need to, you know, look a little bit more ostentatious in the club so you stand out, whatever. You know, he wears the, the black nail polish, the top hats, mm -hmm. all the other stuff, which is good. You definitely want to stand out, but, you know, to a degree, not mm -hmm. too crazy, you know? Not too crazy, like a dumb fucking face tat. But, I remember um, in that book it was suggesting that you like go to the bar with like a red leather cowboy hat on. 
What? Because <laughs> girls will see it, they'll remember it, they'll find it interesting, they want to talk to you about it. And yeah. I, I get that argument, but it's also like, bro, like I am my own person. Yeah. I'm not wearing a fucking leather <laughs> cap. What are you talking if about? If you ever wore a red leather hat in here, I don't think you lost your fucking mind. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Blue leather only, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, man. But okay, do you remember like a specific time in your life where you sort of like realized, I just need to start working towards being able to be good at getting the kind of women I want because I feel like it always kind of has to come from a place of of hurt and disappointment and sadness these guys still have the fucking hurt in in disappointment and sadness these guys aren't fucking lady killers these guys are not ladies men Myron is literally paying girls for sex and paying girls to come on his show okay and that was that was revealed I had no that's not slander because I have objective evidence that was thoroughly researched beforehand and verified. Okay, it happened. Okay, and this little fucker here was just programming websites and working on marketing six months ago. And he decided, oh, what a great opportunity. I can partner up with another fucking retard and we can scam the shit out of the whole audience. Okay, I have to, there's a fucking girl coming and somebody just told me just to look at that section. Maybe they talk about me some more. I don't really care. But it's just very fascinating how backwards this is. When you have uh, fucking two massive lying, scamming, fake gurus and a fucking retard with face tats with an even more retarded sidekick. Okay, they're going to say, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Yeah, because you, it's, it's out of most guys' realities. I used to think 100 was an impossible lifetime count and now that's like a bad year. Okay, And I, I put most students on track to do 50 to 100 girls a year too. Once you have the optimized system figured out the results come pretty fucking quick okay that's why the best year is 246 new these guys could would never in their wildest dreams be able to accomplish anything like that just so just so as it sounds crazy oh well, he must go to a soup kitchen uh, now i feel better about the fact that i'm nowhere near that or oh hey he must just be a fat, uh, fat can of smashed assholes and i'll show my physique pics okay i'll, I'll pop them up again that that show that i'm in great shape and people will still say that stuff I'll show massive amounts of evidence for the fact that I've banged as many girls as I claim at this time, 1,377. And people will, will still deny it because they can't, if they have to accept that, that they have to accept the fact that I'm way better than, than them at game, that I know way more about game than they do, that I'm coaching it way better than them, et cetera, and they're never going to come even close to my level. Never. Okay. But all that we'll be able to do is continue to scam people on the internet by just pretending they're extremely good. These are these are like two. Give it, let's give them a round of applause for that. Two huge fucking pretenders, which is corny as fuck. Okay, and, and the best part is they know it deep down. Okay, they know it deep down that they suck with chicks, and they know they're fucking losers. Okay, just like RST Tyler does. That's that's like what what makes my day all the time. I know that RST Tyler knows deep down that he's like the ultimate personification of a beta male okay he's he's like the poster child of a beta male he can trick the entire pickup community or most of the pickup community and put on a whole facade and build a cult and all that stuff but at the end of the day he's still a fucking loser who girls don't like okay and same with these guys and that's the that's the the sweet part of it for me richard mclaren can go by a Mc, <laughs> richard mclaren richard cooper can go by a mclaren and drive around and think like oh i'm the cool guy not but guess what hot chicks still don't want to fuck him okay Fresh and fit can can go and fucking pay girls to fuck and come on their show. But hot girls aren't going to want to fuck these guys for free. They're huge fucking cornball losers. Okay, well, Just because you strap on a CEO necklace doesn't make you cool or put a put a gay little face tat. Okay, so I'll do, I'll do more of a lengthy response when I have more time just about these fucking retards in general. But it's sad to, to be pushing scammers across the internet. You did your research, but you ignored all the objective points, how these guys are fake gurus. Nice job, no jumper. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to master the game, jump on a free 30-minute call with me. Please like and subscribe if you are not yet a subscriber. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum